Hey everyone, it's Chris with Stamp Blessings, and thanks for joining me today on my virtual open house. Uh, it just started to rain outside, so I'm pretty pumped that I got my grass cutting done this morning. So before I went live today, I decided to cut the front lawn, and I have no regrets about that. Um, also noticed that my mat, my black mat, my Verizamark mat was turned upside down so you couldn't even see this beautiful logo. So this is my third card demo for today and I started it off at one o'clock, my virtual open house with a catalog walkthrough. If you are looking for my previous videos, you can still comment on them and get an entry into my drawing. So you know that if I'm having an open house, whether it's virtual or in person, I always love to have a drawing. Prizes make everybody happy. I like giving them and you guys like winning them. So to find my previous posts, whether it's to sign up for my newsletter or download my Close to My Heart wish list, I just posted one of those. I had a lot of fun creating that. Um, and just about 10 minutes ago, I posted a like a catalog I spy. So that's worth one ticket too. How you can earn tickets is to like and tag my live videos. And um, anytime you comment, that's also worth a ticket. So please comment, please like, please share, tag somebody that might be interested, might not know me, might not know close to my heart. I totally appreciate it. And then Facebook rewards me with that by showing other people my videos. And then the big ticket item is to sign up for my newsletter or if you are already a subscriber, then just send me an email and say, hey Chris, I already get your newsletter. It's not spammy, so don't worry. Um, I have not required any purchases this weekend, but if you do want to make a purchase, I would love it if you would visit my website at Chris Franco dot close to my heart and you can just abbreviate ctmh.com. If you just Google close to my heart, you'll go to a paid um, advertiser. But if you order through me, I enter you into my mystery hostess rewards drawings that happen every single month. Um, and I also send out thank you notes often with a little thank you something tucked inside. So I appreciate your orders and um, like to show it. All right, let's get on with my make and take. The catalog walk this afternoon was talking about the essentials catalog. This no longer carries um, like general paper packs. It does, or the pattern paper packs. It's going to carry things like our glitter paper, um, our solid card stocks and inks. It's got stencils and dies. And it has something called, um, there's our glitter paper, Irresistibles. And here they go. Yay. Now, I have a pack of Irresistibles from last year. So the pattern that I'm demoing today will not match the, the patterns that are available in this catalog. Okay. So the patterns are these six. And you do get two sheets of each paper, and they're 12 by 12, as you can see. And they're really cool, but you might not know what to do with them. So I'm going to show you. All right. We're going to go ahead and make this card. And that card features this close to my heart stamp set called In Autumn Time. Now, this was in our last catalog, so the new one is September, October. This was in the July, August catalog, and it still is available. Love this girl image. She has a coffee cup, but today I went ahead and I went with this pumpkin because I thought that it would really look good with these three colors that I chose. So the colors that I went with are Sundance, Paprika, and Espresso. And you can see that I've had the Espresso stamp pad the longest. And we're going to do some stenciling, which, or, it, well, I guess you would call it stenciling. No. Sponging. Sponging and inking. That's what we were going to call it. So 
that's what we're gonna do today. So I already pre-cut three little squares of different patterns. They're rectangles, Chris, know your shapes. And they are one and a half by four inches. So I've pre-cut those from three different patterns. And I'm gonna just lay them here. So I liked the pattern that I came up with here. And I'm gonna try and keep that the same. Perfect, so set that aside. For time's sake, I did pre-stamp the pumpkin and then I fussy cut it. This stamp set didn't come with die cuts. Most of our uh, stamps have that option, but in this case it didn't. So I've pre-cut these two items so that way you don't have to watch me, you know, mess around with that. All right. I had thought I brought up my craft mat, but I don't see it here. So that's okay, I'm just gonna use this paper that I used earlier. I do wanna protect my workspace. I think I could probably do it right here on the Versamark. Um, this pad, it's nice, it's got foam on one side and then like a healing mat on the other. But I've never, I've never inked on it, so I wanna kinda keep it clean. Kind of persnickety, sorry. All right, but this way you get to see how it works. All right, so I'm gonna start with my flower. And I'll go ahead and start with the Sundance. Now, these are close to my heart ink pads. I've talked about them before. They are magnetic, so the top comes off and sticks right to the bottom. Love that so you don't lose it. And the size is wonderful because these are about four inches by two and a half, three inches. So quite a nice size. So let's go ahead and get started with the Sundance. I'm gonna just get on some ink and then quick with swirling motions. And you know with sponging and inking that the more times you go over it, then of course the darker it gets. And it's always good to start off with a lighter touch because you never know, you don't want, you can't take it off basically, right? So once you get it on, you want to be happy with that. So I'm gonna just do a couple of times now this one I went pretty dark. I was watching TV last night while I made my cards. I wanted to have some good projects for you that I have not shared before. So, and I realized I had a lot of this irresistible paper that I hadn't really played with and it was a good chance to show you what you can do with it. So, all right. And I could even just kind of go back and forth. If you don't have these sponge brushes, but you have the Tim Holtz round ones, those work really good too. Close to my heart used to carry more products like that, but um, we've gone back to just carrying more specific Close to My Heart product. Because I think they just figured, well, you might buy it online somewhere else, so why carry it in the catalog? And that's one of the reasons why our Essentials catalog is a little bit smaller. All right, so I'm happy with that. I'm gonna just set that aside. The next one is the Pabrika. Love this little dot pattern. Flip that over. Go ahead. This one is definitely darker, so it's not gonna take as long. I think the yellow took the longest. And it just, and I don't have to have totally even coverage. You can see there is a little bit of variation in this one, and it looks fine, so. So I appreciate you tuning in and watching. If I don't see your comment now, because I'm a little bit on tiptoes looking at my camera, um, I will go back and respond to your comments. But remember, when you do leave a comment, you earn a ticket for my drawing. So, all right, so that one came out a lot darker, darker than my original. But I also want to tell you that our inks do lighten a little bit as they dry. So no problem there. All right, and the last one is Espresso. Let's go ahead and ink that one on too. All right. um, so you can see that there is a little bit, or maybe you can't, but there is a little bit of residue on here and I would take a Kleenex or a paper towel and really just rub it quickly. It's kind of like an emboss resist. If you've ever done some embossing where you do 
you know, you white emboss or clear emboss and then you come back over and rub ink over it and then you can go ahead and rub it one more time with a paper towel or something like that and that will take off that extra ink. And of course, I don't have anything like that with me right now, but I am gonna get out my stamp chamois and wipe my hands really quickly. Perfect. This is a well-used and well-loved stamp chamois. When they're brand new, they look like this, but it doesn't last very long. But we do sell two to a pack, so it's a good deal. Um, and it's a lot handier than having to go to the sink and wash off your stamp every single time. So, uh, Jackie, I'm glad you liked the samples that I sent in my hostess club this month. I decided I have just been sitting on these and not using them, so I wanted to get them out there. So I'm glad you like them, and I can't wait to see what you create with them. All right, now I um, have Copic markers because that is something I had with the you know, just because I've been stamping for a long time. I think I'm coming up on 20 years of stamping and crafting. So I've had Copic markers in my possession for a long time, and I just decided that I was not going to go ahead and rebuy the Tri-Blend markers. The nice thing about the Tri-Blend markers that close to my heart does sell is they'll have like three color families in one or three tones of one, so you wouldn't need three yellows, you'd have it one in one marker, which is a nice thing. So if you're just starting off, that's probably the route you wanna go. But I'm gonna just go ahead and do some quick coloring. Um, I don't wanna bore you with it. I hope that um, one thing about doing a live video is you really can't speed it up, but I'm gonna just kinda lay down some color quickly. I'm thinking I got the darker marker, but we'll find out in a second. This one does look a little bit lighter, so. And um, the coloring is so forgiving, really. It You don't have to go through lots of expensive classes or whatever. I mean, you can do that, obviously, but I just find if you just practice a little bit and just remember to leave a little bit of a highlight sometimes, um, my coloring is definitely not perfect when I look at, you know, the really professionals out there, but I'm still pretty happy with it. So I think this ended up being the darker marker. Had I not rushed and had to scrap a piece of paper, I could have checked that out first. And that's usually what I do. I start off to the side and look, but it's going to be fine when we finish it all. And I'm going to just add a little bit of green to the leaves. This is a fun little fall image. And even though it's a little bit more fiddly with a lot of fine details, it doesn't take long to color at all. So I'm just doing some quick loose marker coloring and boom. Um, I could always go back in and add some more once it dries, because I only have one green. If I go back in after it's dried, it'll add a little dimension. All right, and the next thing I'm gonna do my yellows, and I'm gonna just put down a, the lightest yellow first, and I'm just gonna kind of really scribble it on. So I appreciate you watching this video. Um, let me know uh, what you like, if you like these images, have you bought this image? Is it one that you might have overlooked and you're like, whoa, the reason why I bought it was for that coffee lady. And then now I'm really enjoying this basket. This little sign says autumn essentials, sweater, book, pumpkin spice. I would X that one out and warm socks. So fun. Again, if you need any products, it's not required to participate in my open house. But if you see something during these demonstrations, Make sure you place your order. There are some items that are out of stock, but Close to My Heart is constantly getting in new items, so um, it's worth the wait. Okay, and I added some yellow. And I don't know why I used this one, who knows? I just was coloring last night. It was 
drinking wine and watching white collar and creating into the night. So I don't do that very often, usually before an event, but it was a lot of fun. I think what I'm gonna do, ah, maybe I edit it to the pumpkin to give it some more color. I think I might've done that. And it does just change things up. You could even add it a little bit to the leaf. All right, I'm gonna just show you what I meant about if you come in after it's, and it's dry. Now I'm getting a little bit of a darker green right there. So that's a little dimension. All right, so my image is done. This card is coming together quite quickly. Earlier I showed you the stamp of the month and um, this little thank you was part of it. And I just love the font. It's like a little typewriter font. So I have some little paper strips here. And I also showed you how to ink up an intense black ink pad. So if you missed that in my earlier walkthrough or demos, you can always go back and watch the replays. And comment there too, because that also will enter you to win. All right. And yep, came out okay. I think I mentioned earlier that I feel like because I re-inked it, it's a little bit darker. So I'm gonna just tap it and go, yep. That one came up maybe a little better. All right, set that aside. And even though I'm just working in the office, I can take my stamp chamois and clean it off quickly. I like it also for cleaning off the edges because I typically, yep, see there was ink on there and I didn't even know it. I typically get that um, extra line of ink that I don't want. Here's a fun tip when you're cutting these banners. Ooh, that one did get that wonky. So I'm gonna go with the original. Um, what I do is I cut in from the side about a quarter of an inch, and I just turn my paper slightly and come in from both directions from the corner. And that gives you just an easy fan that looks pretty centered. I know some people struggle it like one piece will be really long and the other one short, but if you go start from the middle and then you can come in from each corner, it works out great. All right, so now we just have to assemble this card. I decided that I wanted it to be a top fold. Really, it could be either one, but I just kind of thought it's gonna be easier to put all these layers on. So I'm gonna get all this debris out of the way. And let's go ahead and start layering these beautiful pieces on. So the first one is the Sundance. And I'll just put, I find with the glue, it um, holds really well. And then it also gives me just a moment to kind of fill and move things around. So now I'm gonna have that nice even border. The next color is the Pabrika. I'm curious if um, anybody who's watching has purchased Close to My Heart ink pads and what do you think about it? Are you, you know, there's so many options out there, I know. So, um, but if you've tried them, I'd love to hear your review, even if it's bad. <laughs> All right, one last piece going on the, and this one is a little bit darker here, so since I haven't had a chance to clean it, I'm gonna put that in the corner, and my pumpkin will kind of cover that up. Again, I can just move it for a minute. Nice. All right, and now we're gonna just layer all of this on. Turned out to be a really fast card, and even, I mean, it didn't take me that long to fussy cut this beforehand. I just didn't wanna make you watch, since you had to watch me color. All right, and um, I don't use a lot of dimensions. That's one thing when ladies come to my class and gentlemen, a lot of them like to pop things up so they know to bring their dimensions. But I'm gonna just go flat. Oh, and on this one here, look, I didn't banner cut it. Let me see if I like it with banner. Yeah, the, well, I do think I like it just plain. So snip, snip, snip. And a little bit of glue. And we've just finished our third card in today's open house. Okay. All right, so that came together nicely. 
Well, I hope that this gave you an idea and that it made you think about, hmm, what else could I do with these irresistibles? You could um, ink a whole thing up and then die cut it. Like if you wanted flower shapes. Uh, another thing that I've done is just inked up a portion and I meant to show that to you what I meant, but you know, go in a circular motion and just leave some of it inked up and then you can use that as your focal point. So I made a birthday card with a tag over it and it had kind of a nautical theme. So I, I sponged on some blue, but not over the entire card. So I'm going to go look for that and then maybe in the next video I can share that card that I made. But anyway, here's the Irresistible ready for fall using in autumn time because this is not in the current catalog it is still available online close to my heart uh, has a category that if you go to shop you'll see online only section so be sure to check that out because there might be some real treasures in there that you have missed before that you might not have noticed so and thank you bonnie for saying that Another lovely card. You made my day. All right, everybody. This is the third card, and I'm coming back with one more project. It is not a card. Um, it's using some really old product that's still available. It's using some eh, kind of old product from last year's catalog, still available, and a brand new holiday set from the catalog, and I can't wait to show you. All right. See you at the top of the hour.